These are what I like to call pre-cooked animations. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and choose one of them, let's say we're going to look at a way we can animate our text on screen. Let's twirl down the Animate In folder and you'll see a whole load of presets. Well, as you scroll down through here, you'll see there's a lot of words describing what's going on, but there's no real visual reference as to what one of these would look like. Well, before committing to actually applying one to the text and previewing it, it is possible to get an idea of what these look like by coming up to the Help menu here at the top of the window and going down and choosing the Animation Preset Gallery. As soon as you do that, the Adobe Help Center will launch and take you straight to the Gallery of Text Animation Presets section. And then you can see each of those subfolders that we have over here. There's Animate In, this is showing up here at the top, and all of the others as well have already been brought to the foreground. And you can click on any one of them and get an immediate idea of what every single one of those sub animations looks like. So by clicking on Animate In Text Animation Presets, the first one we see here is Center Spiral. You can see over here in After Effects in the background, Center Spiral is the first choice. And now you have an idea of what your text will look like if you apply one of these presets. So you can scroll down and have a look through them. It will take a little while for the previews to build up. They are animated GIFs and they have to just load into memory in order to play back smoothly. But you'll see there's a really interesting mix here of different styles and you can simply choose any one that you want. So maybe I'm going to come down here and look towards the bottom of the list. And I quite like either one of these, spinning in by character or spinning in by word. So now that we have visual reference for the name of the preset, all we have to do is go ahead and find that one and then we can easily apply it. So I'm just going to quit out of the Help Center for now and just come back over into After Effects and then scroll down the list here until we find those presets, Spin In By Character and Spin In By Word. Now at this point in time, you'll notice that I don't have a layer selected in the timeline. Well, this is something new with After Effects 7. You don't have to have text highlighted in order to add a preset to it. If we go ahead and select the Spin In By Word preset and double click to apply it, after Effects now adds a brand new text layer into your timeline. You can see it's dropped down here already and the animation has been applied to it. If we just hit the space bar and play through this, you can see that the words Adobe, After and Effects are all spinning up into the center of our screen. So the preset over here not only contains the animation, but also has three words stored in it. And then we'll apply all of that to a brand new text layer as soon as you apply it. Now the way that the text looks is going to be based purely on the last state of your character palette. So you may be seeing something very different to what I am, depending on the options you last chose. Now we're not going to use the presets this way because we do already have type on the page. So I'm just going to undo the last function and that will get rid of the layer that was just created. What we're going to do instead is select the type layer that's here in the timeline and double check that we are at zero seconds here. If we were actually out here around two seconds, the keyframes will appear after this point. So we'll make sure at this stage that we are back at the beginning, come back up here once again to the presets and double click on Spin In By Word to now apply that animation to our selected layer. If we now hit the space bar and preview that, you can see that each one of these words is now spinning on screen word by word and has all been controlled by a preset. We haven't had to do anything more apart from double click it. 